Hey, BZB Gearheads, Chris here from BZB TV. Today we're going to go over our HDMI KVM extender capable of 4K at 60 Hz, 444 uncompressed video signals, as well as some other great options. Um, basically, we have a transmitter and a receiver, and this is going to be utilized over CAT 6A. So in order to send this signal up to 230 feet, you're going to require a CAT 6A. Um, let's go ahead and start connecting these bad boys and see what they, uh, what they can do. So first I'm going to connect my CAT6 cable to my transmitter. You'll notice on one side there is a CAT6 port here as long as there's some indicator lights. On the other side here we're going to have our HDMI ports as well as a USB port. But first let's plug in our receiver with our CAT6. I always recommend connecting all your video audio connections prior to powering up your devices. Over here on this side, you're gonna notice our CAT6 plug-in. Once I've plugged that guy in there, you're also gonna notice some other uh, connections, including the HDMI output and SPDIF and uh, our peripherals for our USB devices. So KVM meaning you can connect peripherals like, um, like keyboards and mice. Don't know if my cable's gonna cooperate with me right now, but hey. Okay, so we've got our CAT6 cable connected right now. Next, we're gonna wanna connect our HDMI cable. And so HDMI cable is gonna connect from your source, this being uh, my laptop in this scenario. I'm gonna slide this over, connect to my HDMI output. Remember, computers only have outputs, no inputs. We do get that question. So on the uh, transmitting side, again, you're going to see an HDMI input and an HDMI output. That output is actually a loop out. So that's for a local video distribution or a monitor, maybe in the rack um, or somewhere nearby. It just basically duplicates the signal that's going in. So now I've got my HDMI cable connected to my source. I've got it connected to my transmitter. Next, I'm going to want to connect my USB 2.0 cable, which is included with the device. Pretty good size length as well. And basically we're gonna connect to our USB on our computer. It's a type A to a type A. Once we have that connected, we're good on this side. Only thing uh, missing is power, but we're gonna go ahead and make our connections on our RX or receiver side first. Um, you're gonna see I have two little adapters here. These are for my keyboard and my mouse. So I have wireless uh, technology. So I'm gonna go ahead and connect these into our USB 2.0 type A ports on our receiver unit, which would be located um, typically around the TV area behind it or in a cabinet. You're gonna see the HDMI output on this uh, receiving unit, and that's gonna be for my monitor. So connect my TV to that. And just for uh, showing you the connection, we have our SPDIF, so this will give you uh, audio to the display area. If you had a sound bar or some type of amplifier, you could connect this to that, paralleling audio. And now I got that connected. So I look at it, everything looks solid. My Cat 6s are solid. Always make sure these are connected well. Sometimes they can actually, uh, the little um, flap here can actually not be up and they just fall out easily. Uh, same with HDMIs. I use these particular HDMI cables because they lock in solidly. Just be careful removing them. Um, sometimes they can pull the sleeve out if you had cables, for instance, that were really hard to get out. Um, so anyway, got everything connected here. We're looking pretty good. Next, we're just going to do our power. Must power both sides. All right. So now that I got my power up, my extender will just cooperate and stay in place. We'll be good. All right, so typically takes about 15 seconds to get a, uh, maybe 30, to get a signal to your TV unit. Cat6 is always the culprit messing with my stuff. Stay in position, buddy. And there you go, 4K at uh, 60 hertz, HDR10, great little product. This thing works solid. 
So it's as simple as that, folks. Plug and play there. Um, but we still got to get our keyboard and our mouse working. So let's do that next. Make sure everything's on. And it's also important when you do have these wireless adapters that you actually initially sync them to your computer to make sure that they actually will work with the KVM extender because you can't basically sync these if they're plugged in here and they've never been plugged in your computer. So make sure to always sync in your computer. And let's do our Word document. Let's see what we got here. All right, so works there. Now let's try our actual keyboard. And there you go. Can I say that? That word is sacred. I want to say kick butt. So as you can see, works simple, easy. Uh, my mouse is rolling around, no problem. I can highlight products. I can go to different browser windows. So a really cool function for those uh, who have a family room, a living room, you want to be able to connect to your source, which is located maybe in the office, um, or if it's a commercial application, you have different uh, areas in the building that you want to be able to connect to. Uh, very affordable, uh, plug and play, uh, delivers the highest uh, resolutions basically we're utilizing with 4K at 60 hertz, up to 230 feet. Um, really can't go wrong with this guy, but if you got any questions, feel free to hit us up, leave a comment, send us an email, uh, feel free to call us. Uh, we're always willing to uh, give you advice or help you out with your design and application. Thanks again, guys, for joining me. Chris signing off, BZB Gear. Y'all have a good one. Stay safe out there. Thanks.